adding sensor noises. Usually in the real system, none of the sensors are noise free. There must be some kind of process noise involved in the sensor measurement. So in this case, we are going to add 2% of the actual signal's magnitude as the noise. Once we get our DC motor model ready, we get the current and uh, speed as our outputs. But uh, right now there's uh, noise free because we just modeled it using physics and there is no, we didn't add any noise. But now we have to add some sensor noise to simulate the real life systems. So once we add the sensor noise, we'll get I m and omega m, which uh, refers to the measured current and the measured value of the angular velocity, which can be a little realistic. And in order to be mathematically accurate, this is the equation that we are going to use to add the noise, where sigma is the percentage of noise uh, according to the magnitude of the current signal or speed signal, and n is the normal distribution uh, corresponding to a white noise with mean zero and standard deviation one. So, adding the sensor noise in the simulation here. We got our equations ready. Let's see how we're going to add the noise just for the current sensor. So for the current sensor, this is the diagram. And now I'm going to explain bit by bit what are the values. So we got our current here, the value of current here. And then the same current will pass here. And here the sigma is the percentage of noise. In this case, this is 0 0.09. We can change this according to our necessity. Then this is the random noise generator or in symboling block, it's called random number. And there the I uh, signal will propagate directly there to the add block. And after the multiplication, we get I into sigma into N. And finally, we get the I M. So this is how we are going to construct the measured no noisy signal of the sensors, which we can use. Uh, which will be a better representation of the real life scenario. So this was our previous block, the simulating block diagram for the entire DC motor. Here is our current and uh, this our current and this is our angular velocity that we got out of the model. Now let's see. So if I see here, my current is a very very plain signal there is no noise involved at all but once i go through this phase this is the entire part where i added the uh, noise this is this is the random number from the simulating block again this is the product add the very commonly used blocks and in the in the game case so this is the percentage so if i do 0 0.02 this means 2 percent of the original signal value if i run this then finally see i get 2 percent noise signal signal all right now if i even increase this i suppose i can i, I want to use 20 percent of uh, 20 percent noise So now see my noise my signal is far far more noisy right now. Accordingly, you can play around with it to get a noisy signal according to the system requirement. But in this case, in the first scenario, I'm going to take a two percent noisy signal and run it. So this is how the noisy signal looks like, and this is how the actual signal looks. So in order to replicate this uh, noise adding process, I just I can just create a sub model out of this, a subsystem. All right. So I can name this subsystem as uh, this will be my I M, and as this is the same process, I can just do this. So now if I run my simulation, so 
see now my both omega n and i n are noisy signals instead of the plane signal that we got before. 